elephants are extremely smart creatures. You must have heard the saying, elephants can remember. Research has shown that elephants not only recognize several languages, but can also read human body language accurately. Elephants can memorize the path to watering holes and even identify a face after years of separation. But what's going to blow your mind is the fact that they can paint. Apart from an exceptionally well-developed brain, the strength of an elephant is second to none in the wilderness. I mean, ripping up trees from the ground is their day job. Do you know anyone else who can do this? A big fat no. This elephant moves the tree as easily as we shift from first to third gear while driving. Certainly, such a strong and smart animal has no reason to fear anyone in the jungle, right? Well, not quite. There's one rival that absolutely terrifies elephants. So much so that elephants avoid them like a child avoids broccoli. And what's more shocking is that this enemy, this scary opponent, this nightmare, is actually a million times smaller than an elephant. Yes, we are talking about ants. If you've watched the popular Disney movie Dumbo, you may also think that elephants are scared of mice, but that's not proven yet. But a new study says they are terrified of ants, which are even smaller than mice. But an elephant can surely squash ants under their feet with ease. Then how do these tiny ants frighten a humongous tusker? Well, what you need to realize at the outset is that if elephants are smart, ants are the Albert Einsteins of the animal kingdom. They may look small and yeah, they can paint. But a colony of ants can work together and achieve extraordinary things, like scaring off an elephant. An elephant can squash thousands of ants with its feet, but then an ant colony can have more than a million members. These are what experts call super colonies. Now, imagine one elephant against a million ants, and you'll begin to understand the reason for an elephant's fear. But is this number game the only thing that worries elephants? According to scientists, there's much more to it. An elephant physiology is involved in the matter. But before we get to that, let's talk about a special type of ant, known as Cremator gaster mimosae. But looking at the complexity of this name, I'm going to call it the Guardian Ants. Have you watched Guardians of the Galaxy? These ants are the guardians of a tree. And they are pretty damn aggressive when it comes to protecting their homes from all threats. Well, can we blame them? Won't we have done the same if one day someone tried to rip up our houses? Scientists put this theory of ants safeguarding their homes to the test in a laboratory setting. First, they arranged two neotropical knotweed plants. These plants are known to house a swarm of guardian ants that usually attack any animal or insect that try to feed on their home. When we say attack, we mean attack, an aggressive one with capital A. In the experiment, scientists kept one of the plants with these guardian ants. They removed all of the ants from the other one. Then they wanted to notice what happens when a caterpillar gets on the plant with the ants. Caterpillars are big time vegetarians and they love to chew on leaves. That poor caterpillar had the same idea. It wanted to munch on leaves as well, but it wasn't prepared for what happened next. As soon as it landed on the plant, one of the guardian ants came to greet it. Then, this ant gathered 10 more of his buddies to fight off the intruder. Numerous stings and bites followed, leaving the harassed caterpillar no option but to flee. The caterpillar tried to get back again, but the result was the same. So you see what's happening here? Remove caterpillar and a leaf and put an elephant and an entire tree. That's what is happening. But that's just a caterpillar. It's a bug thousands of times smaller than an adult elephant. Surely 10 worker ants can't hope to guard an entire tree from the elephant, right? They wouldn't have been able to if elephants didn't have a very specific weakness. Has anyone ever told you to not judge a book by its cover? Well, that's certainly what we do when we think about these colossal creatures. Elephant skin is as thick as 1.5 inches in certain parts of their body. This means penetrating the skin of such an animal is difficult, even for carnivores with the sharpest canines. But that's not to say that their skin isn't sensitive. In fact, scientists believe elephant skin is much more sensitive than a human's. These animals can feel a change in the climate with the help of their skin. But even so, it's absurd to think that a bee could sting an elephant or an ant could bite into this thick outer covering and actually cause the elephant even minor discomfort. But what you don't see is that underneath all that hard covering, an elephant is a really soft and delicate creature, just like a coconut. Experts who have dissected the body of an elephant discovered that the number of nerves in their trunk region is almost as many as there are in their optic region. 
Now we can come to two conclusions. One, they have fewer nerves in the optic region. And two, they have tons of nerves in the trunk. Just think about it. The nerves in your eyes are responsible for vision, which is one of the most complex activities. The slightest touch in your eyes and your eyes start hurting. Now for an elephant, it seems as if their trunks are outfitted with an extraordinary number of nerves that make it highly sensitive. So, other than being an elephant's most reliable tool and weapon, the trunk also acts as their Achilles heel. So, the easiest way to bring down a 7,000 kilogram elephant is to attack the insides of the trunk. Fortunately for these tuskers, most animals in the wild simply have no way of accessing this particular part of the body. But, can you think of one opponent that can not only enter the elephant's trunk, but can cause mayhem there? Yes, let's get back to the ants and why elephants fear them. There is one particular type of tree, known as Acacia drapanolobium in the African savanna, which the elephants do not even touch because of their fear of guardian ants. These trees host entire colonies of really aggressive ants that will attack any elephant that tries to feed on the tree in question. Just to be clear, these ants do not have any personal vendetta for elephants. They attack every animal that has the intention of consuming their tree. It's just that, most of the time, an unlucky elephant falls victim to their attacks. Now, scientists say that elephants actively avoid eating this particular type of tree. Being smart animals, it seems like the elephants have figured out that it's best to avoid Acacia drapanolobium and instead focus on other safer vegetation. Now that we know the reason, it still feels surreal. Simply imagining a massive elephant being brought down to its knees by a few strategic ant bites is both funny and weird. We've all read about David and Goliath, but to see it come to life is something else. But if ants can take down a large animal like an elephant, they can't hurt other creatures too, right? Exactly. And not just any animal, a snake. If you think snakes are dangerous, wait till you see what ants can do. As you can see in this video, this snake has entered the ant territory. Now as soon as the ants felt the snake's presence, the entire colony attacked the reptile. The snake couldn't even fight back as the whole colony destroys the creature. So you can understand how deadly ants can really be. They can take down a snake and scare off an elephant from invading their home. But these ants aren't always successful in deterring other herbivores from eating these trees. For example, they can't stop giraffes. Another one of the bigger herbivores in nature, giraffes can flick these ants off the trees with their strong tongues. They can then continue feeding. So these guardian ants are terrifying to elephants, but are merely a nuisance for giraffes. To study the difference these ants make when it comes to the survival of Acacia drapanolobium trees, scientists devised an experiment. They removed the ant colonies from some of these trees, while leaving the rest untouched. A year later, when the experts came back to study the results, they discovered just how much these ants aided in the survival of these trees. There was greater damage to Acacia drapanolobium trees without the ants, when compared to the trees that still had their guardians. The difference was so marked, in fact, that environmentalists now think that these ants might be playing a bigger role in the conservation of trees they inhabit. Think about it. If more trees had such ants on them, a lot of herbivores would be unable to feed on them, and the vegetation cover of an area would remain more or less intact. And it's not like the elephants are starving just because they can't eat the Arcacia drapanolobium trees. They can still enjoy a hearty feast consisting of other trees and plants. The important effect of ants on an area's vegetation was further clarified when experts compared satellite images of the region between 2003 and 2008. Many of these ant trees survived during this period. Elephants' hatred and fear of ants is such that some scientists are even trying to weaponize it. In certain parts of Africa, elephants can become a huge nuisance. They destroy crops and make life hell for the region's residents. This is one of the reasons why the locals end up harassing these animals or may even kill them. Experts believe that they can use the scent of these guardian ants to keep elephants at bay from crops. As we said before, elephants lack good eyesight and must rely on their other senses to find food and identify dangers. They know to stay away from Arcacia drapanolobium trees because they can smell the entire colony of ants living on it. So if the scientists are able to distill this particular ant odor and place it on other plants, like crops, it may solve the elephant problem permanently. It may sound utterly hypothetical and unbelievable, but scientists do believe that these ants may be the key to stopping elephants from damaging crops and other essential vegetation covering. Some even believe that the guardian ants can actually reduce the adverse effects of deforestation. But elephants have no hand in global warming, right? Well. 
don't be so sure. Due to the changing climate conditions, droughts are about to become more common. Usually, elephants are picky eaters, but when everything dries up, there's a huge possibility that the tuskers would eat everything and anything they can get their trunks on. This would further impact the environment adversely. But guardian ants won't let that happen. They won't allow the voracious eaters to get near specific trees. Their colonies are the only security that these trees have when a herd of elephant approaches. We've now told you why elephants are scared of ants and how deadly ants are. But there's also a lesson here. The guardian ants are successful in keeping most herbivores away from the trees because they work together. They are extremely social creatures that achieve truly wondrous tasks because of their ability to work as a team. Let's face it, 5 or 10 of these ants wouldn't pose a threat to elephants, even if they get inside the animal's nasal passageway. But if 30 or 40 of these ants find their way into the elephant's trunk, even the mighty elephant backs down. That's all the time we have for you today. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. Let us know what you think about this whole elephant being scared of ants topic in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and share the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, because we have many other topics to discuss in future uploads. Click the bell icon and turn on all notifications so that you keep receiving updates about all new videos from our channel. Till we see you again, take care.